So we're loading into the game. Puff Corp. I did all this in the in the live stream. I'm sorry for whistling. That was just out of nowhere. Get a pin. Write them down. Okay? I did all this in the live stream. But I'm going to do it again. I have to wait. That's right. Now we're diving. Okay. There's a little raft out there. Oh, my God. Who doesn't want to go on the island? Oh. Smited. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, we're zooming, we're zooming out. Okay. Okay. Fish eye. Okay. And then Kelvin. Oh. Okay. Okay. You have a lot of switches up there. Oh my God. That is so many. How do you operate all those? Okay. Exit warning light with open doors. Only ACC to FLM. I have no idea what that means. They've been missing for 31 weeks. Oh wait, it tells more. Look, this guy's 63. Puff Corp CEO height gray. Okay. 60 socialite brown okay and then 20 student gray gray eye color oh my god where's the blue hello all right it is what it is site map aerial view connection contact points error last transmission 234 05 okay thanks for the information Where's Timmy? I know that Timmy's not in this game, but I'm, I miss Timmy. You know, just smack talk him and then start the game. It was good. Oh, oh. Mayday. Oh, there's, a, there's a gray thingy. I'm gonna fix it. Mayday all in the snow. Come on, man. Why? Why in the snow, man? Oh. Am I dead? We're falling. We're tipping over. Whoop. That guy's probably dead. Or they're both knocked out. Now what? Can I move around? Oh dear. Whoop. There was no shadow. What were we falling off of? Oh. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're screwed. We're dead. How do we not die right there? Who the hell is this? You got a massive head, sir. Oh my God, your head is humongous. So is that pistol. Ugh. I can see why you have a massive head now. <laughs> hmm. Look at the snow, it looks pretty good. I don't think it looks as good as Red Dead though. The Red Dead Redemption snow, oh my God. That snow is beautiful. This one's also pretty good too. I don't know. I haven't played Red Dead for a while, so I have no idea what the snow is like. I forget. Open emergency only. Okay. All right. It is foggy as hell. So I have everything on ultra right now. Okay. All of my settings are on max. Everything's on max. Okay. Just so you guys can experience the force for, for what it is. Because in the live stream, it was not doing it. It was like, nah, bro. <laughs> like, you need to calm down. We ain't ready for this crap. Add items to the mat to open or combine them. Okay. Click the gear to open the emergency pack. Okay. Emergency pack. Doo -doo -doo. Sweet. GPS, a tactical axe, a lighter, and a guidebook. Okay. And if you hit G, it puts all those where they're supposed to go, just so y'all know. All right. Perfecto. Okay, sir. You also have a massive head. What is happening around here? Everybody just has massive heads. Everybody's just big brain in it. I'm gonna get this first. Look at your head. Your head's huge. Are you okay, sir? Your head seems to have swollen up. I'm not oh my God, sir. I don't want to see inside you. Damn. <laughs> oh my God. Hello. Let me just put my hand in your mouth real quick. There we go. Let me just inspect you thoroughly. There we go. You're good. You're look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello. There you go. Let me put here. You want some of this? There you go. 
Oh, yeah. You're right in your nose. There you go, sir. There you go. Did you enjoy that? Follow me. Yeah, there you go. Eat that real quick. Okay, or not. You good? Okay. All right. Good job. <laughs> okay, we got to turn this off. Because... <laughs> We can't that's the big head mode is only for people that can't get headshots that's what it's for just so y'all know that's the only reason it exists is for people that can't hit enemies in the head but we're okay we're good right calvin your normal looking sob i might turn that back on later just for just for the fun of it we'll see i can't keep that on all the time i won't take him seriously at all <laughs> okay Eat the pills. Love the pills. I just want y'all to know that this actually does happen in Canada, where it'll rain and snow at the same time. It's rare, but it happens. We got a GPS right here. You see this GPS? Look at this. Mm, sexy. And because we started in the snow, we can actually go get something real quick. Oh my goodness. Okay. If that becomes a problem, I might have to turn down the graphics. But I want y'all to see what it looks like on the ultra settings, even though the frames might drop. But it is what it is. I can't get any higher than 60 frames for whatever reason. So that also is what it is. We're going to go to this exclamation mark just right in front of us. Look at that. That looks freaking nice. Do the fog and everything too. Like. Oh my god. The uh, water has some. Sound issues. But you know it is what it is. It's okay. We're just not going to build near that. <laughs> Holy shit. Chill, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Poop my pants a little bit. Um, do I want to jump down? I th I think so. No, I no I don't. We zoom in. All right. No, I don't cuz it's right here. Here is the first GPS right here. Some rope. Pills. I don't know. I think it was pills. I don't even know what it was. Cut this guy down. And then go get the GPS so my freaking GPS map can stop going crazy. I'm gonna just walk down because I don't I don't really want to take any damage right now. That'd be fantastic. Well not every time, but as I'm swinging it goes up. Okay, so that's good to know. I like that a lot. Okay. What is this? eat probably shouldn't eat that it's it's good for me okay eat good job me oh my god i could just like sit in this game with just the rain sound and the storm by itself damn okay gps gps locator collected thank you sir I'm sorry that you had to die. And a light. A flashlight. Noise. Oh, yeah. That's not the key to put it away. We went here for uh, the GPS. But if we go, you see this little... I don't know if you can see it. I'll have to zoom in in the editing software. But you see this little break in the road? You want to head over there. I think I think what they should do is if, it's, if I put an axe where this grenade is and I hit one... Then I can pull out the axe and without having to pull out the backpack. So one, two, three, and then four. And then everything else behind here, I'd have to pull out the backpack to grab. That's what I think they should do. So if I had uh, a grenade where this axe is, I could just, I'd have to pull out the backpack to click the grenade. That's what I think they should do. So it still keeps the purpose of pulling out the backpack. Because I like, I like the idea of pulling out the back. The backpack. I'm, I got stuck in one second. I don't know what the hell that was. I like the idea of pulling up the backpack. I think it's dope. Blueberries. Oh my god. I love blueberries. Papa. No, I'm just I'm just kidding. That's not my thing. <laughs> um. Tape? What is this music? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Shut the fuck up. Thanks for the circuit board. Pop. MRE, energy bar, uh, the modern axe. Look at this. Look at this, boys. Put the backpack on there. Take all this other crap off. We don't really need it. Book can stay there. Put the freaking modern axe on there. Oh, hell yeah, brother. 
Now we're... Oh, wait. Uh, take out your backpack, sir. Take out your backpack, sir. There we go. Uh, hey, put that back where it's supposed to go. Modern X. Hell yeah, brother. Look at it. It's sexy as fuck. And sharp as hell. One second. Take this crap off. You don't want that. Just the modern axe, please. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, look at that axe. Oh my god. Tell me that doesn't look sexy. Can I eat this? Yep. Okay. Nope. No, I can't. Nope. <laughs> look at that. A whole bunch of stuff right here. If I was to hold up, let me just crack these open. And then we're going to do something just for testing purposes. If I was to save the game right here. Yes. And then if I was to quit the game. Yes. And then go back into the game. Would that stuff just automatically respawn? <laughs> yes, it does. It all just respawns. Shut up. Oh my God. Okay. So... Basically, I could play on hard mode, but I'd have to cheese it by doing that, which I'm okay with doing. I'm not going to lie. But I'd have to cheese it. Now I got a whole bunch of duct tape. I can make a bunch of armor and stuff because everything just respawns back, which I think is I think is okay for normal mode. But I think on hard mode, you'd have to add more stuff to the map. And not have the stuff respawn back. That's what I think. Because it's just to make it a little bit harder. Uh, or maybe just make a separate... Don't eat those. Okay. Make a separate difficulty. Where it's like extreme or something. I don't know. And it does that. Where it doesn't spawn the stuff back. Either way. Or uh, one life. Do the one life challenge. Have a, like a one life option. Make it hard maybe. I don't know. Because people don't like to play... Oh! People don't like to play uh, one life challenges on hard, but that's the whole point of one life is to make it hard. You know what I mean? Maybe realistic. Just put a realistic setting in here and see what happens. Ma'am, listen, I don't really have time for you today. Okay. I got stuff to do. Okay. All right. You take care, ma'am. Okay. Now we're going to go from here. I'm going to save the game. We're going to go from this spot all the way to that top. The top of the map right there. You see those rivers? I think they're rivers. Streams, rivers. I don't know how it connects to that, like, lake, I guess. Uh, you want to go over there. That's where I'm going right now. Oh. Hello, sir. Have a good day, sir. Oh, I thought it was like a canyon. I thought that's going to be freaking... It kind of is, but not really. Like, I thought it was like a cave. Like an outside cave into a cave. That would have been freaking dope. Imagine how dope that would have been been so freaking badass look at this imagine if that was just a cave. oh wait is it is it a cave don't go down there please oh my god don't fall is it a cave down there no i'm exploring it i don't think it is it looks like an exit or an entrance to something that's for sure it looks like it might be something in the future pebble thank you i actually need these for uh arrows that's what they're called that's right Holy shit, sir. Chill, I didn't even see you, okay? Need to calm down. I'm not engaging with him. I'm running. No thanks. I'm good. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice spot. It's kind of open, though. I don't, I don't like the open areas because getting, like, sticks and stuff is a pain in the ass. Oh, aloe. Nice, dude. Hell yeah, I'll take that. And this is, so far, my favorite spot to build, okay? You can build, like, right on uh, on the lake right here if you want to you could also build within the forest a bit more and there's a lot of space back here look at this watch look at this it's relatively flat there's sometimes you'll come in with uh sometimes you run into issues but if you make like stumps and then put the logs on the stumps you won't have that issue anymore um because sometimes you'll put a log and then the ground will be too high and you can't put it there because it's like nah and uh it's not going to be leveled so you gotta make do with that i'm gonna eat this thank you but this is my favorite spot to build i've cleared out this area twice and it's a good spot especially on hard mode because there's a lot of animals that like to run around in this area there's fish 
you could try to kill a duck. Good luck. I had no luck with it. <laughs> so good luck to you if you can. I, I don't know. Overall, a very, very good spot. You can build relatively in peace, but the cannibals will always come no matter what. But they won't come as quickly as other areas where I've built before. So this is a good spot. I like it a lot. In the tarp, so I can just throw it here. If, if I can. Okay, you can't put it too close to the water. It's fair. Oop, my bad. Oh, Calvin. Hello, sir. What is this? Oh, I can put two. Okay, my bad. What if I did this? What would just happen if I did this? Uh, place game? Okay. Is it going to put both of them up? Oh, it does. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty freaking dope right there. I like that. I'm going to just do it that way. I'm going to make a fire. I'm going to put the fire uh, right here. Crack. Oop. Okay. Crack. And light. Oh, yeah. That's a fire. Oop. I'm burning something. My bad. Whatever it is. There we go. And then we'll also, because Calvin likes to sit, we're going to just make a little bench for him. Thank you, Calvin. You can also find like shallow areas and you can stand, but you have to like hold space. Uh, it's a little finicky, but it'll work. Oh, there's a fish I want to kill. There we go. See, so you got to hold space to make the game know that you're not swimming anymore. It's weird, but it is what it is. Turtle, I need you for food. Wow. Modern axe style. Look how beautiful it looks. It looks so damn good though. Like it looks so freaking nice. Well, I'm going to put this modern axe to good use right here. Look at this. Boom. Look at that. Boom. 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 I don't have to keep clicking. There we go. Look at that. That looks freaking nice right there. I probably should have looked up, but you get the gist of it. And if we break, we can break this too. Boom. I only took two hits. Oh my god. Okay. We only need one log. Oop. Oop. Uh oh. To make a bench. My bad, Kelvin. I, I did that. Boom. Boom. There we go. You only need one. And you keep the log, too. It's just to make a bench, so you get to keep it. Again, we're not going to be doing much on the building aspects. Okay. Not in this episode. Maybe in a different episode, but not in this episode. Can I get my uh, stamina back by sitting here? No. I think it's just for decor. Okay. All right. We're going to go to another exclamation mark from here. And we got to keep an eye out for birds because I need arrows. Yeah. You see all these birds right here? I actually need to grab a stick. Hold up. I need to grab a stick. I actually think I need two sticks. So I have two sticks. No. I need to grab two sticks. And I want to make a bow. I'm going to need four sticks, actually. Okay. I want to make a bow and a spear. And I guess if I can, I'll make the repair tool. Okay, I can't make the repair tool. I don't have any rope. Five, six, seven. And then this should hopefully keep it burning longer, maybe? I could add leaves to it. Let me just add some leaves to it. Yeah, we'll put it at three and see what happens right there. And now it's looking smexy. I saw a stick over here. I'm going to get those. Okay, good job, Kelvin. Now that we have everything all set up and ready to go, we're going to go to another exclamation mark. Okay, Kelvin can stay here. He might come. He'll probably come once he's done filling up that stick holder. I'm actually gonna have to put these in here myself. I don't want them to despawn. For the most part, even on ultra settings, the game runs pretty good. I think it needs just a little bit more optimization, but still good. bit my mustache. Fucking damn it. Biting my lip and I bit my mustache. Oh my god. Kyle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off, Kyle. We are now at our destination, which is going to that raft. But first, you can probably hear some music just behind this rock. So let's go investigate what the heck is over here. There's a dead man and he has a pistol rail with some three nine millimeter bullets. A watch. Some soda pop. 
uh, a radio that needs to shut the frig up with a circuit board in it. <laughs> Two boxes of stuff, some duct tape, ayo. Carp, look at that. A whole bunch of good stuff. And again, you can just save the game, exit the game and respawn and then boom, more stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. If you hit the bird while it's flying, the feathers go flying, by the way. And sometimes you can hit the bird more than once to get more feathers. I don't know if it works here, though. Yeah, it does. So you can hit the bird more than once to get more feathers. And then it stops. Not all birds, but some birds you can hit more than once and you get more feathers. Just so y'all know. I don't know how I missed that. Now they go, they're flying away. They're freaking zooming. They're zooming. I don't know where the other one went. There are sea turtles in the game. And sea turtles is what gives you the turtle shell, not the regular small turtles. Ooh, a sea turtle. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? You doing good? I'm not gonna hurt you. That's a light. <sighs> look away, everybody look away. You didn't see this. Nobody saw that. You skin it. Wow. And then you get a turtle shell. And then if you look down, there's two pieces of meat right there. One, two. Just random pieces of already whatever. <laughs> you know? Now that's the inside of the turtle. Look at it. Looks freaking crazy, doesn't it? Looks insane. Turtle egg? Hold the hell up. A turtle egg. I just ate it. I just ate the turtle egg. Can I put the egg on here? No, I can put the meat on there, but not the egg. Lame. But now we're swimming out to this freaking raft, okay? There's sharks out here. F the sharks. Just just get a pair of cojones and just deal with it, okay? Make sure they're nice and shaved and nice and smooth for the shark, okay? And then if you survive the shark, you gotta make sure that they stay nice and smooth. God damn it. They stay nice and smooth for Virginia, okay? Because if they're not nice and smooth... You ain't getting nothing out here, okay? You ain't getting shit. But as long as the shark doesn't come right at me head on, I'll be okay. Get in the freaking raft, please. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I found a toothbrush. I will take this. No, I won't because you were using it, sir. It's not a, a good idea to use someone else's toothbrush. Holy moly. Just calm down. Okay. Let me put this away. I found some flares. Hell yeah. Some meat. MRE pack, I mean. Another flare. And a pistol. I'm sorry. We put the pistol and the pistol rail. Put these together. And I assume that eventually you can dismantle it too if you want to. Take it off of that and put it on something else. But I assume that I can maybe put on red dot sights and stuff like that so it's easier to aim the pistol there's a second one right there he's dead you can't skin the shark or anything by the way it's just it, it, when it dies it just floats there and that's uh, that's all it does it doesn't really do much there's a second one Okay, they're both dead. Okay, bye. We ain't biting shit now. You're biting the dust. Even though there's no dust in the water, unless you go to the bottom of the sea, then I guess you could bite the dust down there. Oh, whatever. Figure it out. Oh, I thought that was a shark coming right at me. I was about to shit my pants. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let's just save the game first before anything. Let's do that. Because anything can happen at any time. You never know. I would like to get some arrows first so i have 30 feathers keep that in mind you can put all the sticks on there you can put a whole bunch of feathers on there like so then i craft arrows pebbles one i need another rock i think Yep, I need another rock. Dang it. I can understand if I'm holding like an axe and then it sways, but if I'm not holding an axe, oh, I'm not holding, well, not like an axe, but you know, like an item in one hand and then the GPS in the other, I can understand why it would sway then. 
but I should be able to hold it with two hands and then have it not sway. Like, that's at least that. You know what I mean? Calvin's actually coming towards me. Calvin is done doing whatever he was doing. He wanted to go on an adventure, and now he's walking towards me. Oh, random stuff right here. Sweet. And a rock. Hell yeah. Or a pebble, I should say. And a piece of rope. Wow. Uh, I would also, by the way, like a way to hide the HUD. Because if you go into the settings, you can hide the minimap, but you can't hide everything else around it. You see what I mean? So I would like to have the HUD completely gone, and I can just make, like, I can take screenshots and just have it as my thumbnail and stuff like that. That's just for me. But I've also played the forest with no HUD uh, before, and I actually enjoyed it a lot because it was just because I had the stats in the book. So if I hit was to hit B, not in this game, but in the forest, I'd hit B and then I like the last page or the second to last page. You could look at what how you were doing health wise and stuff like that, which is why I was OK with not using the HUD in this game it's going to be very hard to figure out what is what. Okay, so unless they put another page in the book for your stats, I'm probably never going to turn off the hood because I have to know what I'm what I'm constantly doing all the time. There has to be a second way to figure to uh, get information like that. This also respawn too. I'm pretty sure if I swing a couple more times and I level up my strength too. Yeah, now my strength's level two. Okay, that's pretty cool. And it just stays as... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, I was going to say it just stays as two. It does not stay as two. So that's going to be a factor in hard mode for sure. And if they add another challenging mode, then definitely both of those modes. Uh, I'm going to take this with me because I have to. I'm pretty sure it's my last tarp, so I'm taking it with me. I'm going to go inside this cave. Let's just see what happens. I've turned up the brightness and the gamma in the settings of the game. But that's about it. Okay. Uh, light, please. Well, I didn't want that, but I guess that'll do. I wanted the flashlight, sir. There we go. Okay. It is extremely laggy in this cave. It's crazy. What the hell is this? Shit, am I supposed to go in here? Get the bow out real quick. Can I put the light on the bow? Is this a thing in this game? It is not a thing in this game. Okay. We're just going to walk forward, I guess. Let's see what happens. Hello? Somebody pops out in front of me. I'm going to kick your ass. Let me tell you. Your ass is getting kicked hard. I don't know what that is down there, but let's go in here first. This looks more interesting right now. 100. Batteries and stuff. Oh. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. What is this? Helmet, chest, leg, arm. 250 milliliter by 10. What is this? Tim LeBlanc. Oh my god. Oh wait, is this it? I found it. Tim LeBlanc. Parallel universe and travel between them. Oh my god. The LeBlanc something. I can't read that. The, the text is too small. Our universe and the many universes around us. What's this? Arrows, flask, mask, grappling hooks, tech mesh, sled. What the heck is this? Oh. That's pretty dope right there. What is it doing? Is it just printing out an object? What the hell is this? Can I get it? Oh, it needs more fuel. I got it. I got it. One sec. There you go. Ba -na -na -na. What is this? A sled. Just a sled. Just a sled. That's it. I... Oh. 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 That's pretty dope. <laughs> that... I'm going to use that immediately. Give me one second. There is no way in hell we don't use that. I want all these arrows, though. 
So you could save the game right here. And then not sleep. I almost pushed sleep. But you have to exit and then come back in. <gasps> I ran out of printer fuel. Oh no, what will I do? Let me just save the game. And then quit the game. And load back in so I can get more printer fuel. <laughs> I should not have. Saving the... I should be able to make two of them, right? There's one. And there's two. And then I can wear them. I'm assuming it's over here now? Okay. And I now have two pieces of armor on of circuit boards. That is pretty dope. Let me make a crap the club because we're not... Oh, that's not it. Wait, is it? No, it's not. I like... I kind of wish that uh, when you're in the inventory screen, I know that, you know, realism and stuff, but uh, it's annoying when I'm trying to craft stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? There we go. Perfect. And now I can't make anything else yet. I think white's okay. I like the blue, even though you can't see nothing. I like it. I like it a lot. Can't see a dang thing. Look at that. I like it a lot, though. I'm, I'm going to just leave it like that. I don't even care. Can you guys see it? I think you guys can. I'm going to leave it like that. I don't even care. Dope as hell. I could change it to uh, match the color of the lighter, but uh, we'll see. I'm going to assume that the purple bar means I don't have to sleep because I'm on, like, a freaking caffeine high kind of thing. What in the hell is this crap? <clears throat> I missed it. Do I, can I, do I have to go over here? Hello. Ooh, what's over here? Nothing over here. Okay. I don't know what the hell that was. Something happened here. Something definitely happened right there. There's a door, but I need a key card. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So not really much going on in here. Probably going to be some shit behind that door though. Oh yeah, that's right. It goes back into a cave. I was like, what happened? <laughs> this stopped being uh, so bright all of a sudden. It's dark as hell out here. Where's my tent? Calvin? 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 Someone? Help. Where's my tent, Calvin? Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I took it with me. I took it. Oh, my God. I love it. Anyway, I took it back with me inside here. Look at this. It's so good, dude. Like, look at it. It's so nice. It's so beautiful out here. I could just sit here like this and just listen to it. Kelvin, you're ruining my immersion. Get the fuck out of here. Stop eating the berries. What are you doing, Kelvin? Man, fuck you, Kelvin. Goddamn asshole. Second time he's ruined my crap. Just out of nowhere. Oi, this is my food. Kelvin. Why would you walk in front of a good view like that? Oh, you're so lucky that I need you. Oh, you're so lucky that I need you. Just ruined it. Apparently eating a flower is much better than eating berries. That makes sense, game. Who am I to question Yogg? You know what I mean? Put the pebble wheel away. Uh-oh. Game, help. Help me. Help. What's this? Eat. I probably shouldn't eat that. Maybe I can. I guess I can. <gasps> what is this? Pine cones. Oh, jeez. Man, they're my favorite. That's from Ice Age, by the way. I like Ice Age. The fire is still burning out here. Look at that. Look at this spot right here. It's so nice. So freaking beautiful. Oop, my bad. I'm going to take those, though. I didn't even see that. <laughs> now, you could make a drying rack, but I tend to find that when you make a drying rack out in the open like this, the cannibals start coming because they can smell the meat and they want it because it's on the drying rack. So I would probably hold off on the drying rack until you can get to like a safe spot. Oh, get to a safe spot and then make a drying rack. Make sure you grab the meat before you eat it, by the way. Because it can burn, and if it burns, it'll disintegrate after a while, too. So it's best to eat it out of your inventory. I want to put up 
a treehouse. <clears throat> I don't know why I gasped like that. My bad. I was yawning and then breathing at the same time. I don't know what happened. I kind of want to make this one because I know what that one looks like from the forest. I have a rough idea what that, of what that's going to look like. Well, so I would like to build this one just to see what happens. And I want to build it so it faces like... Is there windows in this? There is no windows in here. I could probably cut out windows. I'm going to put it right there. Hopefully, I can cut out windows because if I can't, I'm going to be sad. All right. Well, I'm going to do that later. Not right now. Good job, Kelvin. You get those rocks. Look at that. Good job. Real good job. He's smiling. He's having a good time. I cannot put the sled in my backpack. Lame. I'll put the mask there, though. At least there's something there that I could use. The flask is on top. Okay. I might put flares there, too, maybe. We'll see. I'm not sure what else to put there yet. We'll see. Go. That kind of works. Hey yo! Oh, well, it worked somewhat. If that rock was in the way, it would have worked. <laughs> That's pretty dope. I think this is more of a, of a snow thing. I will give you one more tip before we go. Kelvin, I want you to follow me, okay? I will give you guys one more tip. Where is he going? You're going to follow me? Okay. I am your master. You will fear me. I can't see, but you will fear me. I don't know why it puts the mask on sideways. I would rather it just put on... You can put you can put the mask on like this, by the way. Like this is not this is not some next gen stuff. Like you can put it on face and hold it still. That made any sense to me. How come I gotta look sideways at the mask? You, you good? You just had a sudden rush of adrenaline? Is that what happened? Sudden rush of adrenaline of adrenaline, Kelvin? Hmm? Okay. I want you to clear uh ten meters because logs can despawn in this game. So if you tell me to clear 20 meters, some of those logs will despawn. I'm pretty sure. I might need to have another log holder for Kelvin when he's done doing that task. Ooh, I can eat these too? What is this? I don't know, but I ate it. So yes, Kelvin will knock down a bunch of trees within a 10 meter radius. He'll also clear out all the bushes and everything. It'll look very nice when he's done. Um, but as long as he's skinny, he's, like I said, keep bugging him. He will stop and he will wait till they're gone. He will not do anything until they're gone. I might as well just show you one more thing. Because I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get that that done uh, in time. But I'll show you one more thing when it comes to building. Okay. Let's just put down the foundation for our build. Now the foundation. Okay. If you want to. I see people doing this all the time for some reason in this game. I don't know why they're doing it. If you were to put a pillar here pillar here and I'm gonna have to do uh, another one second I'm gonna have to do another one out so you guys get an actual good view of what I'm trying to say here uno momento this is gonna be in the way of my demonstration oh, no don't don't chop it down just knock oh no I, yeah I have to chop it down it's a tree ah shit whatever so I see people doing this all the time where they'll have pillars in their base and uh if you put logs on the top like this right you can actually take this log out and it'll stay there and you can put the ceiling on top of it okay you could also just make this into a wall and you'd have to build up the wall before this to stay there but you can take this out too once the wall is built like you don't have to keep well i probably i would probably build the wall first instead of building the pillar because that's just a whole other problem that you don't want to deal with <laughs> but yes so you can remove the, the logs from your base. It'll stay there. I don't know how far it'll stay. I built out, I think, uh, from this square. I've only built one out. So I know it goes three far. So it can go all the way out here. I'll just I'll just use it as another log of the demonstration. Um, this way. I can take these out because I don't need those. Take this out. I don't need that. And then put this there. So what I have to do now is get this log, put it on the pillar like that. Well, you, you might want to make, like I said, you might want to make that a wall. I would always, when you're building, I would always build walls first before anything. Because it'll help you out a lot. Always build the wall first before anything else. That is my advice to you. And then we can take this out and then boom. Look at that. 
And you see how I can put the floor here, right? Build a wall. I think it's like five or seven logs. You build the wall and then you put the... I'll just build it. I'll build the wall for you guys. You build up the wall like so. And then at some point, it'll allow you to go across the wall to make the roof. I think it has to have one more. Okay. I'm going to use one log for it. And then right here, you can see that now I can put stuff right across. And that would be the second floor, by the way. That would be my second floor. So I'm not going to go too deep into the building in this episode. Uh, but I will show you this because I see a lot of people in videos that have logs in their base and they can remove it they can remove them they don't have to be there just so you know but calvin's gonna re ruin my stuff so that's a good time to stop if you want calvin to fill up the log holders quicker you want him to clear the area and then tell him to go get the logs because if you just tell him to get the logs he will just cut down any random tree and he'll take longer to get the logs in the log holder because now he's cutting down trees. He's taking breaks all the time. He gets real lazy, basically. This is also neat. I like this too, where I can, boom, do that. I like that very much as well. You can do the same thing for the floor. You don't have to make it a complete square. Ma'am, I'm demonstrating. Get the fuck out of here. Shit. Oh, dear. Oh, get to the bottom of the water. Get to the... Ugh. Shit. How is there still mud on you? I want, I, want to, I want to know that. That's for sure. I just put you in water, first of all. Burn, goddammit. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, back to demonstrating. Uh, you don't have to complete... You don't have to make complete squares. You really don't have to to put down a foundation. You only need this. Uh, not a foundation to put down floors. You only need this now depending on what way you want the floor to go Obviously, you're gonna want to put you know it in the right direction that you want it to go So you see that I kind of just wasted logs right here because uh, I put it that way when I could have put it just straight down the middle and I would have had Floors right there So you have to be smart with the building so I used one less log and I can now make a floor but again Depending on what way you want the floor to go, which this is actually the right way that I would want the floor to go. But yes, you always got to think about how to build and how to save logs. That's the most important thing to do. You see how he's clearing out the bushes now too? He's clearing all that out. He's done chopping wood. he clearing clear out all these bushes. He'll make it look nice and open. He won't cut the stumps though. That's You have to do that yourself if you want to do that. But it'll make it look nice and pretty. And then from here, you tell them to go fill up the log holder. That's what you would do after. Good job, Calvin. Good job. Real good job. I might as well just show you one last thing, and then that's it. I'm going to end the video after this. For sure. You can. You see how this fire is still going, right? Oh, I forgot about these bones already. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you have this fire right here. It's still going. If you take a log and you cut it like so i think i need to cut it this way and then take both of these and you can put them on the floor and you can add to it as like a fire firewood pile but you can also take it and obviously you get the whole sea to pick it up now because it's in that thing you have you can put it right in the fire like so boom bam and there you go. You, you now have a better fire. But the only problem with this is that it's hard to see the meat. So keep that in mind. But it's kind of hard to see the meat. But uh, it's there. When it's not cooked, it's easy to see it. I can maybe get a meat real quick. Let me just try and get meat real quick. Missed. Okay. There he is. I killed a turtle. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Random turtle just got freaking killed because of that stupid squirrel. My bad, turtle. Put the raw meat on there. And you can see the raw meat no problem because it stands out. But once it turns brown, you'll forget it's there and not even see it. So it's best when you're cooking stuff to just sit here and wait because you'll forget it. If you have a drying rack, though, put it on the drying rack. And then if you cook it off the drying rack, 
you get more health. And I was playing all, I was testing all this on hard survival, just so y'all know. I was doing all this on hard survival, but I want to explore more, so we're playing it on normal. And again, make sure that when the meat's cooked, if you have more than one piece of meat on there, make sure you pick up the meat once it's cooked before you eat it, because it'll, it'll burn the rest of it. So always pick it up and then eat it. I have a turtle shell, but I don't know what to do with the turtle shell. Uh, clearly I have a sled, so you can't use the turtle shell for a sled that I'm aware of. You can't. So, uh, I tried to make, I'll show you what I tried to make. I tried to stick these sticks in the ground like so. This is what I tried doing. But I figured that if you stuck the sticks in the ground like they were in the forest, you could like so there is i think a try oh hello ma'am don't worry about me i'm just building sticks over here you could where'd my turtle shell go oh i didn't drop it to my backpack you could put the turtle shell on top of this but you can't uh and then i tried to get my axe and i tried to cut these like this but when you do it it turns them sideways and it now becomes stuff that you can actually die from look at this Ow. 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 Actually pretty useful now. My bad. <laughs> Actually pretty useful. And I'm pretty sure you can put sticks around those too. Yeah, you can. What's this? I don't know what that means. Anyway. I don't know what that... I don't know what that red mark means. Oh, I think it's... I think it's a building block icon. I'm pretty sure it's a building block icon. But... Those are actually now useful, so the cannibals will actually run into it and take damage. So I like that. Because in the forest, they didn't do nothing. They actually just went on top of it. And they used that to climb into your base in the forest. <laughs> so, hell no. I will be releasing another episode soon. Not sure when, but soon. Probably after I'm done building this freaking treehouse, to be honest. But if you like this video, make sure you like the video, please and thank you. I have more some uh, Sons of the Forest stuff coming out. I do tutorials on... I did a lot of tutorials on the forest. I have no doubt that I will also do tutorials on this game too. Once more information comes out and make them exactly how I did for the forest. Uh, the 100% completion version, of course, because the other versions are kind of meh. But thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.